James Foster scored his second hundred in two successive games as his Essex side cruised to another comprehensive victory on the second day of their LV County Championship match in Leicester, a win which keeps their dreams of promotion very much alive. Essex had dominated the first day and resumed their first innings on the second morning on 153 for three for a lead of 15. And their overnight batsman Foster and Ravi Bapara were soon building on that lead, both men resuming their knocks in the 30s. Foster is finding his very best form with the bat just when his side needs it most. Having made his first ton of the summer in the win over Kent last week, he now added another 50. This one coming off 94 balls, his eighth four taking him there. He and Bapara were batting their side into a position of real strength. Rob Taylor finally broke the partnership on 101, Bapara playing on to go just one short of his half century. Taylor had a good day with the ball and was celebrating again in his next over when he also bowled Jesse Ryder, with Essex now 64 runs to the good on 202 for five. Every bonus point could yet be vital for them, so they would have been disappointed when Kishan Vellani picked the wrong ball from Jigger Nate to go after and was caught via a top edge by Angus Robson. And when Taylor had Graham Napier held in the slips by Greg Smith to complete the third five-wicket haul of the bowler's career, Essex had slipped to 222 for seven. Time then for Foster to take over. In spite of one injury following another for Essex this summer, they have kept themselves in the promotion mix right up until the end of the season, finishing it off as the form side. Had they started their excellent run a little earlier, that promotion would have already been assured. They started this game having to win their last two and hope that Hampshire slip up, and things were going their way with Foster simply superb. Only Dan Redfern had managed even a 50 so far in this match, but here was Foster at three figures for the second innings in succession. The 21st 100 of his first-class career, arriving off 172 balls with his 15th four to go with one early maximum. He was again leading from the front as a captain should do. He couldn't have done it without the support of David Masters, a man who so often thwarts his former county. Here he stuck it out for 24 overs with his skipper to help add 89 crucial runs for the 8th wicket. Masters had made 26 of those when he was finally out, nicking Charlie Shrek behind at 311 for 8. Foster would have loved at least 39 more runs for a 4th batting bonus point and he went after Shrek to try to get to 350, this 6 helping that cause no end. But Monty Panasar could only stay with him for a short while before being bowled by a ball that straightened from Nake. Foster then clubbed a Shrek full bunger to Josh Cobb after making 132 out of his size 334 all out, which had them 196 runs ahead on first innings, Taylor taking 5 for 67. There would have been no thoughts of wrapping up a win before the end of this day at this stage as Robson and Smith saw out 14 overs in knocking off 48 runs of that deficit with very few problems. But as has been the case all too often for Leicestershire this year, a collapse wasn't far away as they lost all 10 of their second innings wickets for just 69 runs. Jamie Porter was first in to the party, trapping Robson in front for 26, after which there was a procession. Porter, a 21-year-old playing in just his second match, dragged one back off the pitch to clip Ned Eckersley's off stump. The youngster, who didn't even get a ball in Leicestershire's first innings, was on the mark again in his next over, as Redfern helped a jumping delivery to Jake Mickleborough to go for a duck. Three wickets had fallen for a dozen runs, Porter making the headlines for his team, but Smith and Cobb did manage to see out the next six overs in which they added 32 more. It was, however, just the calm before the storm, as their last seven wickets disappeared in a flash. To be fair, Smith was unlucky to be given out LBW to Panasar after making 36, the ball possibly not doing quite enough. But there was no doubt about Taylor's dismissal, as he had his stumps rearranged by Ryder. 
Nile O'Brien and Nake then both fell for ducks in riders next over. The former was LBW trying to play to leg, while Nake went in the same way just four balls later. Now the two-day finish was on. Especially when, two balls later, Cobb's resistance was ended by Masters, rider with a simple catch at slip after a deflection. The Leicestershire skipper out for a top score of just 37. Atif Sheikh then slogged Masters out to Porter in the deep, with the total on 117 for 9. And it was all over just three balls after that, as Shrek became the fourth man in this innings to be out without scoring. Masters with the LBW. Leicestershire had lost their last seven wickets for 25 runs in 16 and a half overs. In fact, their two innings combined lasted only 75 overs overall, as they lost this match by an innings and 79 runs. Essex taking 22 points to close the gap on Hampshire. There is likely to be only a handful of points separating the two now going into the last week of the season and Essex are seemingly in unstoppable form. They've won five of their last six games. Leicestershire, meanwhile, are now without a win in 31 attempts.